Our world is transforming and Earth's climate is rapidly changing. With warming climate affecting the entire world, its effects are more predominantly seen in the polar regions. These icy landmasses have fascinated scientists for over 100 years due to their pristine nature and the influence they have on the rest of the world. Referred as the Indian Gateway to the Polar Region, the National Center for Polar and Ocean Research is India's premier research and development institution that spearheads the Indian research in Antarctica, Arctic, Himalaya and the Southern Ocean Realm. Dedicated to the nation in the year 2000 as an autonomous institution under the purview of the Ministry of Earth Sciences, NCPOR has enabled leading interdisciplinary research that has changed our understanding of this planet. Our mission is quite challenging. Our objective is to explore the polar regions, Arctic, Antarctic and Himalaya and also the surrounding oceans of both poles. And apart from our scientific endeavor, we have to facilitate other organizations and universities, those who want to do uh, explore the polar regions or understand the science behind it and we need to facilitate them. Apart from polar science, we are also mandated with to survey and explore the non-living resources in the Indian Ocean. The Indian Antarctic program is a major initiative undertaken at NCPOR. Over the years, the center has built and currently managing two research stations, Maitri and Bharati that caters to all the scientific and logistical requirements to conduct field operations in Antarctica. Expeditions and Operations Group, as the name suggests, is the driver for Indian Polar Science Program. Uh, we basically support scientific research in Antarctica. Not only Antarctica, we also uh, do services for information technology, vessel management and uh, infrastructure development in NCPUR as well as Antarctica. India maintains two year-round permanent stations in Antarctica, Maitri and Bharti, which are equipped with modern facilities for laboratories, communication, transportation, and they can support uh, 75 persons at Maitri and 47 at Bharti on year-round basis. The Indian Antarctic program with distinct multi-institutional approach covering a wide range of research has successfully accomplished 38 expeditions in this icy continent. Under the umbrella of the Indian Antarctic program, we work under a gamut of scientific disciplines right from atmospheric sciences to earth sciences to biological sciences to environmental sciences and in addition, we have the student participation program and our emphasis now is also on outreach. How to disseminate knowledge that we gain in Antarctica to both to the general public and the young students at large. One of the key things in Antarctica is to develop relationships. And in this segment, we have recently signed an MOU with NIPR Japan, whereby this season we'll be participating with their scientists in the Shirmacha Oasis for looking at longer records of the lake sediments. After Antarctic, Arctic is the world's oldest and largest cryospheric reserve. The warming climate has led to the changes to the sea level, snow cover and the extent of permafrost in this region. In a bid to understand these changes, the NCPOR has initiated its scientific activity in the Arctic region by establishing the research base Himadri at New Alsund in Svalbard, Norway. India's scientific studies in the Arctic is now a decade old and Indian researchers have been working on the hydrodynamics and biogeochemistry of Arctic fjords the mass balance of Arctic glaciers as well as the Arctic hydrological cycle. 
there has been immense interest in understanding the connection between the Arctic climate and the Indian monsoon as well. In the coming years, it is anticipated that India's uh, research will be expanded to the other parts of Arctic as well, including the Canadian, Russian and the Greenland side. Through this program, the Centre has facilitated more than 120 scientists from 18 institutes and universities across the country. Recently, India was re-elected as an observer in the Arctic Council due to its persistent scientific endeavours in this region. Besides the polar region, the centre has also ventured in the Himalayan territory. In order to undertake a systematic and a long-term scientific investigation of the Himalayan glaciers, the National Center for Polar and Ocean Research has initiated studies on six benchmark glaciers in the Lahul and Spiti district of Himachal Pradesh by establishing a permanent research station. To facilitate the study of Himalayan glaciers and their hydrological implications, the center has established a high altitude research station called Himanj at an altitude of about 4000 meter in Himachal Pradesh. And this station provides the basic infrastructure and logistic facilities for the scientific research. Over the years, the scientists at NCPOR have been conducting several mass balance, hydrological and microbiological studies in these glaciers. To enhance the understanding of glaciers in the Himalayan arc of Indian region, the center has initiated multi-institutional program named Himalayan Cryospheric Observation and Modeling. With collaboration from eight national universities and institutions in India. Another major research area focused at the center is to understand the Southern Ocean. The Southern Ocean has an immense influence on the Earth's climatic system. Over the last several decades, the Southern Ocean is undergoing some drastic changes and to understand this, the center has so far organized 10 successful expeditions in the Indian sector of the Southern Ocean. India has started the Southern Ocean expedition since 2004. It is a multidisciplinary and uh, uh, multi-institutional uh, 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 observation. And uh, uh, the main uh, uh, objectives of this program is the, um, how the uh, how ocean uh, atmospheric dynamics affect the tropical climate and weather and how the uh, uh, physical process and the uh, aerosols and the uh, trace gases is affecting the biological productivity and the biochemistry. And the 10 expeditions already we have launched and uh, in future we will be planning for the observations for uh, uh, time series observations we are planning in future, especially with the mooring equipments as well as the gliders and the modeling aspect also will be studied in this area. The center also takes pride in being part of the International Ocean Discovery Program that explores Earth's history and dynamics using ocean-going research platform to recover sediment cores and rocks from the ocean floor. NCPOR has so far facilitated 50 Indian scientists from 15 institutes and universities to participate in the IODP program. As a part of IODP, uh, recently we have completed uh, about five expeditions in Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal to understand past geological and climatic history of this region. The primary purpose was to understand how basically uh, the final Gondwana breakup uh, in the Indian Ocean led to the formation of Arabian Sea and also we understood, uh, we deciphered basic crucial information about how the South Asian monsoon has evolved over several, several millions of years uh, using this long uh, sediment and basement cores from the Arabian Sea. So the, uh, our finding basically provided a major breakthrough in, in this region and we provided new idea which was published in a, a very high uh, rated journal uh, in, and the research was led by NCPOR and we have also provided new ideas uh, as a part of this uh, research. The center also operates and maintains the ocean research vessel Sagar Kanya. The center has also initiated 
large-scale seismological array deployment in the Indian Ocean to understand the Indian geoid low, the largest geoid low in the world. As a pilot project, NCPOR deployed 17 passive broadband ocean bottom seismometers. These sensors will record continuous time series data of the seismic events for one year. With India having the 12th largest exclusive economic zone in the world, the government of India has entrusted NCPOR as a nodal agency for the comprehensive mapping of the EEZ of India that will help in optimum utilization of resources available in these waters. Uh, the program on geoscientific studies of the EEZ uh, is a multi-institutional endeavor to map the seabed of the Indian EEZ using high resolution multi-beam techniques. So NCPR has so far mapped around more than 15 lakh square kilometers of the deeper water blocks of the Indian EEZ which is coming to around 82% of the deeper water blocks. A comprehensive uh, geoscientific exploration of uh, parts of uh, Central and South East Indian regions were initiated by NCPR under the aegis of MOS to identify and locate uh, active and inactive hydrothermal fields in the region. A contract uh, for uh, exclusive exploration right was also granted by International Seabed Authority for an area of around 10,000 square kilometers. So NCR has surveyed the region and so far identified around 7 to 10 potential locations of hydrothermal activity in the region. Apart from in-situ studies spread across the sphere, the center also facilitates polar and ocean research by offering state-of-the-art in-house research facilities. The center has established India's first ISCO laboratory with a world-class facility to preserve and study snow or ice cores from polar regions. Besides the isotrace lab for trace metal and isotopic analysis, a field emission scanning electron microscope lab that helps in detailed structural analysis of siliceous and calcareous archives in the ocean and lake sediments has been recently established. The Polar Remote Sensing Division at NCPOR has been developing indigenous geospatial applications for automatic extraction of polar geographical, topographical and supraglacial information for deciphering climate change signals and also supporting the safe logistic activities using various Indian and foreign satellite datasets. During the last year, the Centre has organised several international and national meetings and conferences. One of the flagship yearly conferences the Centre organises is the National Conference on Polar Sciences. In order to decimate information collected in this wide spectrum of trans-hemispheric research, the Centre has been organising several outreach activities. NCPOR adds the Polar Research Capacity Building Initiative by producing numerous PhDs and project dissertation. The increase in the quality of research can be seen through the publication that has led to a fourfold increase in impact factor during last couple of years. The National Centre for Polar and Ocean Research has now earned an international reputation for its expertise in polar and ocean science and also its operations.